back to another episode of UET Tips and Tricks. Last episode was a pretty long one, and as always, you guys were awesome with the support, and I can't thank you all enough. This episode, I'm going to predict that it's going to be a little bit shorter compared to the last one, but that's all good because this series really is going to vary in sizes depending on the topic. So let's get straight into it, and the topic for today's episode of UET Tips and Tricks is snowballing in UHC. So what is snowballing? So before I begin speaking on how to snowball, snowballing can be explained by explaining the snowball effect. So pretty much the snowball effect is, by definition, a process that starts from an initial state of small significance and builds upon itself, becoming a larger and also perhaps potentially dangerous or disastrous. So, um, in terms of UAT, this practically means that snowballing is when you go to the center of the map, which is 0-0, with minimal to decent gear to kill other players for their gear to get more and more stacked. The more players you kill, if done right and you're lucky, the more stacked you will get. So slowly, you'll be increasing your healing and diamond armor amount until you're one of the most geared in the game. So let's talk about how to get really a snowball going. So here's some tips before you snowball. Before you begin or decide on snowballing, try to make sure you have some of these following things down. First, if you have a lot of friends, see if one of them is not busy and has a line rank on bad lines to spec for you. On other UT servers, spectating may vary on who can or if it's even allowed. Second, make sure you're close enough to 0-0 zero zero or else you're going to be having a long run before you actually get to the snowballing part of the game. As I recommended in the first episode of this series, having your cores around 1,000 blocks in your 0-0 zero zero is fine, but if you're like 2,000, 3,000 blocks out, I recommend rethinking snowballing unless you have a horse to take you there quickly. Third, always take into account the time and time you'll have to make it to 0, zero because the best times that I've learned to snowball is like 20 minutes in to 30 minutes in. Though if you're getting pretty geared from your cave already, going 40 minutes in or 45 minutes in is fine too. Just don't get there when there's already like a bunch of full diamonds dominating the game. Finally, be ready to expect getting cleaned up, targeted, and just be in a frenzy of players everywhere because snowballing early on can get really hectic and it's risky. You can end your game quickly. Now that we have these things down, let's talk about actually snowballing. So, step one, get out of your cave. Yeah, it's that simple. Just simply leave your cave and start heading towards the center of the map. Like I mentioned before, you want to make sure you're not far away from 0-0 and that you're in the 20 minute area so the iron rushers get killed, but there's still a few effective kills here with like one piece of diamonds and everything. Step two, get within 500-500. 500-500 is the best area for snowballing in really any UHC. Any spectator with lion rank can spectate there, and usually there's like at least 15 players running around in that area. And if it's not a bad line UHC, just in the 500 area, like you'll still find a good amount of players. 0-0 zero zero really is the best and I guess hot spot of all players. When entering 500-500, be sure to always be moving, especially if you're undergeared, because if you're at a place for a long time, you're an easy target for a full diamond. In 500-500, you're going to be finding a variety of players ranging from your full iron unenchanted to your classic extra and full diamond like 20 minutes in, which is a classic. You're going to want to kill the lower tier of players that have either one piece of diamond you need or like that are very undergeared with healing. These skills will slowly build up if you don't take too long killing, and if done right, you'll be getting more and more geared progressively. So, for example, you'll be diamond pants, and you kill someone with diamond boots, then you're half diamond, then you find someone with chest plate and helmet, you manage to kill them, and now all of a sudden you're full diamond. So, progressively, really, that's the snowball. Step 3, play it smart. Snowballing really comes down to picking your fights right and not letting yourself get cleaned up. You don't want to go after the most stacked person you see, and if a stacked person starts chasing you down, I recommend either running to an area where they can't get to you easily, or taking that player into another player to get their attention. If you're about to get in a fight, make sure you check around you and for any possible cleanuppers, because even if you do well against a guy, someone could always be waiting just to one-tap you. Try to be quick with looting when you kill people, grab enchanted books you need, diamond armor you need, and spares, gold, healing, and really anything of use that you find or better than what you have already. Don't stay too long though because at any moment someone could just come down and get you with surprise just like the cleaning up thing. Also like looting, don't take too long chasing down a kill that you really don't need. If they have a diamond armor piece you need, sure you can go for them, but if they're just bringing down your healing a ton, it's not really going to be worth it because you're going to be losing healing and they're just going to have had the satisfaction of wasting your game. Pretty much if they're just playing really sweaty or anything just turn the other way there's probably someone else that's worth it but if there really isn't any other choice then chase them down but you might be on top 5 UT kills if they're under here and they kill you a lot of snowballing comes down to raging also so don't let someone playing annoying make you rage because once you start raging you pretty much died there's no point there's players that do better when they rage but I don't know just don't get annoyed too much snowballing is also based on pure PP skill but just because you have a high elo and build UT doesn't mean you can't easily die when attempting to snowball and it comes down really to playing smart and picking your fights correct. Finally, step four, either go to border or stay snowballing until the end. Pretty much, snowballing will be different every time you attempt it. Sometimes you'll die really early on, sometimes you'll have the best game of your life. But in the end, if you pull it off, you'll most likely end up in full diamond with like a sharp blue sword. Once it gets to the point that everyone at 0-0 is full diamond and there's really no easy kills left, 
You're going to have to decide if you're either ready to kill everyone left around 0-0 with what you have, and there's most likely just going to be a bunch of full diamonds, or if you're not as geared as some of the other snowballers in the area, go ahead and decide to head to one of the last borders of the game by just going to whatever one is next. If it's not a bad line you'd see, I recommend just trying to like get more geared if you can if there's some more time to cave, and if not, you're just going to have to face the other snowballers. If you're too late to border, just go ahead and try to continue getting as stacked as you can, but by finding people that you know aren't overpowering you too much, a lot of this comes really down to skill at this point. So, not much you can do, you just gotta be ready to outplay some people. Really, if you made it to this point and gotten geared from a few kills, you've had a successful snowball. Now it just comes down to if you can survive the final shrink or meetup, and if you can win the whole game. I'll speak on the final shrink or meetup in a future episode. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys, of UET Tips and Tricks. Pretty short one. I tried to be as informative as I could about snowballing. And if you guys have anything to add to this video that you guys thought I missed, feel free to comment down below. I always read all my comments. Even if I don't reply to you, I made, I probably read it. I'm always open to suggestions on what you guys want next. And I'm just enjoying making this series a ton. Like, really, this is like, I enjoy making these more than UET highlights at this point. I don't know. Just something new. And I don't know. It's helping a lot of people, so gives you a big smile you know <laughs> i don't know but if this helps you in any way feel free to like i'd really appreciate it but yeah that's gonna be it and i hope you all have a good one